Okay, violas, this is our training video for El Gacho. Now, El Gacho has one flat in the key signature all the way through. That's the first thing we always look at. Now, that would normally let us, lead us to believe that we are in the key of F major. But we start on a D and we end on a D, and in actual uh, reality here, we are in the key of D minor. Okay? Now, the reason I want to point that out is we are in the harmonic minor, which has a several C sharps in the middle here. Okay, and those C sharps are usually following or close to a B flat. So that's going to present a challenge to us with our left hand finger pattern. So just be aware of that. Okay, that's going to happen down there in 16, uh, measure 31, okay, uh, sort of through, through the piece. So just be careful. Now, let's take a look here at the first two measures. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and, and 2, 3, 4. Bum, 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 bum. Say that over and over again. Snap your fingers, tap your toe. Let's get that rhythm secure within us so we can just feel it. We know what we're doing. All right, now measure three, a little different here. One and two and three and four and, and, and three, four. One and two and three and four and, and. And three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and, and, and three, and four. Okay, again, there's another rhythm. They're a little bit different. Okay, two measure rhythm patterns. Let's sing it together at three. Bum, 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 Okay, now let's move on at 11. A new rhythm pattern here, a little different. One and four, one and and three, four, one and four, one and and three, four, and then sing it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, we play a little accompaniment part there at 27 and 35, so we got to get softer there. We have some running notes at 41, some scalar type of passages there. Um, let's fast forward down to 59. 59 is a new rhythm pattern. One and four, one e and a two, and four and one, and four, one e and a two, and four and one. Now, one little thing here about this. In measure 60, the 1 e and 2, okay, if you try to get that with all of your bow, okay, it's going to be clunky. You're not going to be fast enough. It's just going to be icky. So, let's work on our technique. On your bow stroke, okay, if you've got a good angle here, okay, that 45 degree angle away from you with your bow, okay, now, your wrist. Now, you might have to kind of work on a little flexibility here with your fingers. Okay, but, ooh, the wrist is super agile. Smaller parts can move faster, more easily. So, just practice, just practice open strings. And let those fingers flex as you're moving. Now, first, like anything we work, learn in orchestra or viola, it's going to be clunky. You're not going to be happy with the sound, but just give yourself a chance. Give your body a chance. Practice it slower, but let that wrist take care of that, and you'll be so happy, and that, those 16th notes are going to really pop. Okay? All right, so here we go from the beginning. Not too fast. Kind of slow to get this under our fingers. About one, two, three, four, and... Now, I just remembered one other thing I want to talk to you about. See that first eighth note there, the fourth note in the first measure? I just did something I didn't tell you about. Kind of sneaky. Kind of the pro tip here. So I'm going to go down bow. Now, I've got a quickie little eighth note. Now look what I'm going to do with my bow. I just touch it, sort of a little bowed pizzicato, and then retract. And that way, my bow management, I always have plenty of down bow and plenty of up bow to go around. All right. So let's try that again. <laughs> 